Hi, my French scholars. Welcome once more to my skit for a discourse analysis. Now, it is well known that research being a collective and continuous process in the progress of knowledge, it is a fact, a critical and analytical investigation into a chosen area of study with pre-specified tools of approach and research methodology insists on presentation of arguments and its accurate documentation to be accompanied by intellectual honesty, of course. History is a discipline where interpretation and reinterpretation of the same fact or event always emerge. Works like Rudrangu Mukherjee's uh, popular history book, Mangal Pandey, Brave Martyr or Accidental Hero, published recently, has questioned the shibboleth associated with the 1857 uprising commonly called in textbooks, history textbooks, as the Sepoy Mutiny. Similarly, while drawing a favorable analogy, I would add the Sahyadri Kanda of the Skanda Purana also require a fresh look and scrutiny. Awestruck by the contents of Sakhyadri Kanda, I took up the issue of reconstruct and reappraisal with prominent learned scholars during the Indian History Congress and the South Indian History Congress gatherings from the University of Calicut as well as from Loyola College Madras under the University of Madras in the year 1999. I even suggested that this contextual element seemed to raise possible involvement of social mobility concern in a subaltern context but regrettably, scholars, Indian scholars, deafening silence on this issue is suggestive of a great ignominy, humiliation, and disgrace, and as a result of which, my attempt to trigger a debate on the veracity of its message, the message of Sakya Adrikanda was not taken forward and nothing more could be done. The Sakyadri Kanda therefore remains till date a mere rhetoric as the skepticism propounded by antagonists of the Brahmanical fisherman theory did not struck a chord and failed to offer insights into social mores of medieval South India. Even as Mysore epigraphists, the late Dr. K. V. Ramesh, in his introductory passage to History of Karnataka, published from Darwar in 1970, comes forward with a choking and spluttering reaction to the Sakhyadri Kanda. The abrupt and sp 
preemptory manner in which he dismissed a long-standing tradition on the west coast of India as profane and blasphemous could be surely the result of his inherited strotra behavior as to surely reflect anxiety of a psychophant ready to protect his own turf. However, Dr. Puliyur Nilamana Madhavan Nambudari of Government Arts College, Minchanta in Calicut, has come forward with a new interpretation on this Sakyadri conduct, which reads like this, I quote, the indigenous Brahmins were earlier group group of local people, fishermen community of course, who were converted to Brahmanism by the legendary Parashurama. They were degraded when new immigrants came to the land. These issues are not at all addressed by Nagendra Rao, who prepared his MPhil dissertation on the Grama Padedi in 1955 under the guidance of a Nabudari scholar, Dr. Keshavan Vulutat. According to social classification, all the 32 Brahmin settlements are not Brahmin settlements at all. Recent research revealed that at least three Brahmas, namely Paniyur, Karikad and Paravur, are not pure Brahmin settlements in its basic meaning. Brahmin settlement system has to be redefined and put into further analysis based on interdisciplinary method, cultural and anthropological principles and cultural signifiers and rigorous surveys." Unquote. This is how the position stands. Therefore, to conclude, I would like to add, even as post-structural analysts dismiss the Haleutic attempt in my study in a purely Brahmin chronicle as immoderate and preposterous, absurd, immoderate and preposterous, my fresh insights on patterning of Illam Kuknaman which, no doubt, is no wild wizardry of words that spill a beguiling spell of narwhal, turtle, manatees and sports, is what makes this my seminal findings in semantics marathon, monumental and unique. And therefore, to conclude, I would add, I have every reason therefore to insist that my views be heard. Cheerio. Have a nice day.